So far, we have solved uh, sine x equals a half and cos x equals a half um, between 0 and 360 degrees and 0 and 2 pi. We're now going to solve tan x equals 1 between 0 and 360 and 0 to 2 pi, so in degrees and radians. Okay? So we start off in much the same way. We can write that x is the inverse of tan of 1. And we can write that uh, also as arc tan of 1, much like we had arc sine and arc cos. So the inverse tan of 1 is 45, so 45 degrees. Then we sketch tan. Now tan looks something like that, okay? Doesn't need to be perfect again. Uh, just going to label a few points, so that's 180, that's 360, okay? So then we can draw in the line 1. Now, unlike sine and cosine, uh, tan doesn't have a minimum or a maximum, okay? So it doesn't really matter where I draw 1. I can draw it there if I like. Okay, so that's 1. So I can see that I'm getting one solution from cutting the curve there and one solution from cutting the curve there. So this first solution is the 45 degrees that I found there. Okay, so that distance from 0 to 45 is 45 degrees. And because tan is symmetric, like sine and cosine, okay, and repeats itself, this distance must also be 45 degrees. And so I can find that by doing 180 plus 45. Or just adding 180 degrees to my 45, to my answer. So that's 225 degrees. And so my two solutions are 45 and 225. OK? So that's in degrees. In radians, x will be the inverse tan of 1. We can write that as arc tan of 1. And that's, well, I've got to change my calculator to, to radians first. So shift, mode, and then number 4 for radians. Inverse tan of 1 is 1 quarter pi, or pi over 4. I then sketch tan, okay, so there's tan, and let's put a few points on, this would be pi, that would be 2 pi, so then we draw in a horizontal line to represent 1, so that would be that line there, so I'm cutting the curve at these two points, this first point is the pi over 4 that I found on the calculator, and if that distance is pi over 4, then that distance must also be pi over 4. So I can find that value by adding pi and pi plus 4, oh, sorry, adding pi and pi over 4 together. So that's 5 pi over 4. And so we can write our two solutions as pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. OK? And that's how I can solve uh, a basic tan equation in degrees and radians.